A Coast Guard helicopter crew rescued a man who was left clinging to an ice chest in the Gulf of Mexico after his boat was stranded overnight in waters roiled by Hurricane Milton. The man's fishing vessel had been disabled Monday off Madeira Beach, Florida, and he was working to repair it Wednesday, hours before the hurricane made landfall, said Coast Guard Press Officer Nicole Grawl. The man, who was not identified, was able to radio the Coast Guard station in nearby St. Petersburg before contact was lost about 6.45 p.m. But on Thursday searchers located the man about 30 miles off Longboat Key, Florida, clinging to an open cooler chest, a video clip provided by the Coast Guard shows. In the video, a Coast Guard diver was lowered from a helicopter and swam to the man to pick him up. The man was taken to Tampa General Hospital for medical treatment, the Coast Guard said. The fate of his boat was unknown. A hospital spokesperson was not able to provide a condition without the man's name. The agency estimated the man had survived winds of 75 to 90 miles per hour and waves up to 25 feet high during his night on the water. This man survived in a nightmare scenario for even the most experienced mariner, Coast Guard Lieutenant Commander Dana Grady said. French President Emmanuel Macron inspected the training of Ukrainian troops at a military camp in eastern France on Wednesday, a show of support for Ukraine as its Western allies consider a victory plan championed by Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky. It was Macron's first meeting with some of the 15,000 Ukrainian troops that France has trained since the full-scale Russian invasion in February 2022, including several thousand put through training courses in Poland. The Ukrainian brigade that Macron visited is being battle-readied and armed by France for frontline deployment. For security reasons, Macron's office said the base's specific location could not be reported. French military personnel are teaching the Ukrainian soldiers how to use and maintain French-supplied weapons, and subjecting them to combat-like conditions, with stress, noise and drones. Trenches have been dug using methods and layouts similar to those in Ukraine. The new force will symbolically be named the and the Kiev Brigade, after a Kiev princess who became Queen of France in 1051 upon marrying King Henry I. Around 1,500 French military personnel are involved in the brigade's training over several months. The Ukrainian Brigade No. 155 will eventually be made up of 4,500 troops. Of those, 2,300 are being trained in France, forming three battalions of infantry, plus engineers, artillery teams and other specialists. The brigade's other battalions will be trained by Ukraine. The Ukrainian soldiers are making progress quicker than we expected, said the French colonel overseeing the training. He could only be identified by his first name, Paul, in line with military security rules. Macron's office said the brigade will get 128 armored troop carriers, 18 Caesar artillery pieces and 18 AMX light tanks, plus Milan anti-tank missiles and heavy trucks. Macron has pledged up to 3 billion euros worth of military aid for Ukraine this year, his office said. Macron's renewed focus on Ukraine reflects how shifting politics in France have weakened his sway over domestic affairs. His decision to call surprise legislative elections in June backfired, leaving him with a minority government and strengthening the hand of opponents in parliament. The government Tuesday survived a no-confidence vote, the first of what threatens to be repeated efforts by Macron's foes to bring down Prime Minister Michel Barnier in the months ahead. Inspecting the Ukrainian troops is meant to highlight that Macron's influence in defense and foreign affairs remains largely intact. Macron was joined by the French and Ukrainian defense ministers, Sebastian Lecornu and Rustam Yumarov, 
in observing the troops.